Thanks very much. Hey, has anyone uh, dobbed anyone in on the terrorist hotline yet? Just put up your hand. Anyone? Anyone? No one! How un Australian are you people? I've been on the phone all friggin' day. Oh, you know, noisy neighbours, people who put the bin out on the wrong night. I find anyone with a beard is a bit of a goer, you know what I mean? You know, with an Osama look, you know. I got Don Burke three months in jail the other day. It was just for those shit ass jumpers he was wearing, too, you know. No, but seriously, when that ad came on the telly, you know, the Steve Lee and John Howard co production, I thought, this is serious. I've got to write this number down. This is really important. I've got to write down next to the phone, next to all the important phone numbers. So now I've got police, fire brigade, pizza hut, yum, <laughs> terrorist hotline. I came home drunk the other night, I was starving. I thought, damn, I'll order a pizza, right? Order a pizza. Half an hour later, the, the door was kicked in by these ASIO agents <laughs> looking for two larger wines and a small Mexican. <laughs> They had me on the ground with a gun in my head. They said, what have you got to say for yourself? I said, where's my friggin' garlic bread? <laughs> and my cheesecake? <laughs> um, oh yeah, no, seriously, in the paper it said the other day, it said that Australia is now a serious Al-Qaeda target and Sydney is the number one target. And I thought, yeah, good, because I live in Melbourne. And, uh, <laughs> but then the Premier, the Victorian Premier Steve Brax came on the news and went, oh, no, 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 Melbourne's also a target. <laughs> Melbourne's got a lot to offer, yeah. We've got the trams, we've got the Grand Prix, we've got the Penguins. I'm sitting at home going, shut up, Braxy! This is one bit of business Victoria doesn't need. Jesus. Now the war, I mean, I'm not going to fight in the war. It's not my war, you know, so I'm not going. I mean, basically I'm very fat and lazy, you know. It would take a lot to get me off the couch, basically, you know. I mean, put it this way, even if the Indonesians invaded Australia, I'll be sitting home thinking, ah, oh, bugger it, let them have Queensland. <laughs> what do you think about it? They're not going to come down to rainy old Melbourne, they're going to go to SeaWorld, Dreamworld, Hollywood on the Gold Coast. Schoolies week's going to kick in. They're going to have a look where Big Brother is filmed. It'll be Queensland, beautiful one day, slumat puggy, bug bug saji the next. <laughs> I think I just asked you for a pencil in Indonesian, but... Uh... <laughs> now, um, I've actually bought out a... A series of motivational tape packages, and they're for sale in the foyer tonight, along with all my Amway products. And uh, <laughs> this is for anyone who lacks motivation in their life. So um, maybe you're sitting down the front with a bit of a beard and a green shirt, and uh, you, you, you find it hard to get motivated, sir. So listen to this and tell me that you're not motivated. Here we go. Get out of bed, you lazy prick. <laughs> you feel like getting up straight away, don't you? I am ready for the world. Not only, not only uh, uh, motivation, I also handle weight loss tapes and uh, being a bit on the fat, fat side, people say to me, Dave, you've got to get in shape. I say, I am in shape. It's just a round one at the moment. <laughs> you can have that joke. Not a problem. Uh, I've got one million for a joke less now. Now, uh, this, is, this, this is a weight loss tape. Pretend you're sleeping and you're in bed and this is what you hear to lose weight. So you're sleeping, you go... You are sleeping. You are sleeping. Oh, shit, you're fat. I've been Dave O'Neill, you've been great, thank you very much. <laughs>